guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my haul from, oh, this is the bag, but it's stuff from Sephora, it's stuff from Ulta, it's stuff that I've gotten online, and it's from the past, like, month. This is definitely built up over time, but then, like, a couple days ago, I went to Ulta and Sephora, and I got a couple more things. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and, uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with these two things because they're so boring. Um, this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. I had to replenish this because I ran out. But then I also got the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I actually don't have a clear one. I have two that are tinted blonde. But then I feel like, I don't know, when I put them in my eyebrows, you can like see the blonde from the gel and it looks so weird. So I just wanted to get a clear one just to set my brows and I used it today and I love it already. I've had this before but it's been a while so I got one of those. I got the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. It looks like this. I think I got the wrong size because I wanted the one that's in like the glass bottle. I'm a sucker for packaging and what it looks like and all that kind of stuff and this is just so blah to me. I've been using the little mini size for about three weeks now and I love it. I've had it in my makeup collection for a while but I just never used it so I started using it the past few weeks and it just it's meant to like waterproof your foundation and this is what I used on so many clients when I worked at Sephora. So I'm so glad that I finally picked this up because I've really really been loving it. The downside is that it is pretty pricey but I really feel like it makes my makeup last so much longer and I don't get as oily as fast. Next I got this L'Occitane Amande ooh, Supple Skin Oil. This is what it is here. Um, I've actually used this for the past month. I got it a while ago, but I've been holding it for this haul. This you put on your body after you get out of the shower while you're a little bit still damp and you rub it in your skin and oh my gosh, it makes you so soft and hydrated and it has a specific scent though, which is nice. But I find that when I use it a lot, I kind of get sick of the smell, which is the only downside. It's a very, I don't know, like L'Occitane kind of smell. So I really like it though overall. Like it really does make my skin super, super soft, especially when you pair it with a body butter. I got a like little sample of the uh, L'Occitane body butter when I bought this. And when I use them both together, my skin has never been so soft. So I would love to get that body butter someday as well because pairing them together just works out so nice. Next, I got this. This is the Sephora brand like spray bronzer thingamabob. I have the uh, Guerlain one and when I got the Guerlain one, I was wanting to get this one as well because I want to try them out side by side and see if the Guerlain one is really worth the price. So I've really gotten to know the Guerlain one because I've been using it for like the last two months on my skin and it is really nice. I sprayed this on my hand when I was in Sephora and it seems a little bit greasier, but I'm still going to try it out and I'm going to do a video like a battle of the bronzers type of thing because this is more than half the price of the Guerlain one. So stay tuned. I will be doing that video in the near future because I still want to like use this for like a good solid month to really know the product. I want to know as much about this as I do the other one. You know what I mean? Next I grabbed this bronzer from Hourglass. It's the Radiant Bronze Light. This, who did I see using this? Alexandria Garza. She was like raving about this bronzer. This is what it looks like here. Um, it's beautiful. It's really, really, really pretty. It gives you like a nice glow to your skin. I think I used it in my like chatty get ready with me video that I posted at the beginning of, I don't know when I posted that. It's a really nice bronzer, downside. Everything from Hourglass is just like stupid expensive, but I went to Ulta and I picked up another Tarte Exposed blush. I already have one, but it is completely shattered. And I know that you can mix the alcohol and, you know, crack it up and then put the alcohol in there. And it's supposed to like, I don't know, like make it solid again. And I've done it before plenty of times. But every single time, it changes the formula. And I guess that's like a no-brainer that it would change the formula because you are adding more alcohol to the product. So it definitely changes the product. And I would rather swirl around my cracked pieces than do the alcohol trick because I like the formula even when it's crushed up rather than when it's mixed with the alcohol. You know? So I just picked up a new one because it's one of my favorite blushes. I've been using it for years. 
and it's super super pretty. This is one of my favorite things that I picked up. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the color Pink Lady. I've been wearing this for the last couple weeks, maybe like two weeks, but it's like a light, light baby pink color and I don't have any colors like this. Recently, I've just really been getting into like the nudie pink baby pinky kind of lips, similar to like what I have on right now, but this goes on even lighter than that. I don't know why, I think I'm going to like through a phase of the light baby pink lips, but I'm obsessed with it and this gloss is the best. It's so pretty, it's so pigmented, and it's the perfect color. Oh, this is kind of random. I picked up a hand food hand cream from Soap and Glory. I just grabbed this when I was checking out at Sephora because this used to be used to be my favorite hand cream. I wear the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume for like I've used that forever and this is a very similar scent so when this mixes with my perfume I feel like they just complement each other so well and my perfume even lasts a little bit longer with it too so I love it it's tiny it fits in my purse and it's the bomb.com this was really random like not a planned purchase at all this is the milkshake liquid lipstick from Anastasia I got this because I have pure Hollywood which is a really good nude but it dries pretty dark on me I wanted something a little bit lighter so this is milkshake it looks like it's gonna be a nude but then when I had it on my hand like for like an hour after I left the store it kind of dried like a pink so we'll try it out and see I wasn't really looking for a pink color I was looking for a nude so we'll see how this works and that's, that's that I got a ton of hair stuff because I ran out of all of my shampoos when you have blonde hair, you have to have a regular shampoo and a purple shampoo. So I ran out of all of them. So I got really excited and I got a couple of hair products. So this brand just came out recently. It's the Way Hair Care Line by Jen Atkin, who does the Kardashians hair. And everyone has been talking this up to no end. It just launched in Sephora and everybody has just been saying so many great things about it. So I had to go to the Lincoln Park Sephora store downtown because they haven't, they didn't have it in any of the Sephora stores by me and I didn't feel like waiting for online shipping. I actually used this shampoo and conditioner today in the shower. This is the volumizing shampoo and this is the repair conditioner. The one thing though I did notice is that the repair conditioner is smaller, which is really weird. They smell amazing and so far I love them. It's, it's literally just been today, but so far my hair is really shiny. It feels really clean. Um, the volumizing one, I mean, it's not like mega volume, but it definitely just like mainly like at the base of the root. I can see that it's lifted a little bit more and I usually because my hair is so dry and damaged and dead normally I will use like a deep conditioner or like a hair mask or something when I shower um, and when I like wash my hair and I only wash my hair like two times a week so it's fine to like use a hair mask or whatever so this really really conditioned and hydrated my hair almost to the point of like what a hair mask normally would so that was really nice and impressive and I'm so, so excited because I don't know I was like really excited to get these products as it was and then for them to turn out working great is just like even more exciting I also did get the way hair care treatment mask just to try it out so the only thing is is that it comes in these like little the these like packs which kind of sucks I'd rather it be in a jar of the hair mask so I can like scoop it out or whatever but this is fine I'm just excited to try it out and the smell is just so so nice and fresh and just a pretty smell so I'm really excited about it since I also ran out of my purple shampoo I was going to go and repurchase the one that I normally get which is the rusk bright shampoo I really love that one I've been using it for years it doesn't irritate my hair it doesn't turn it purple but it keeps the brassiness out but then I saw that dry bar came out with a purple shampoo so I picked this up because it smells so good and I love dry bar products so I can't wait to try this out and see like how it works especially compared to the one that I was normally using and then I also got the hot toddy heat and UV protectant from dry bar so this I also use today I love the way it felt in my hair work seemed to work pretty good um, it says that it protects your hair up to 400 450 degrees so yeah I'm excited to use all this stuff and see how it works in my hair and my hair is just so damaged as you can see like all of these pieces look how broken my hair is I'm just this is from when it was so blonde and bleached and silver and <sighs> 
so over it. <laughs> Next, I picked up the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I looked everywhere for this foundation. And partially why I couldn't find it is because like it wasn't like out yet. <laughs> but then it finally came out and it said it was at um, my old Sephora store at, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Orland. And, uh, but it was just in the shipment boxes and I used to be the ops lead. So I was like, don't even worry about going and looking because then you have to make testers and I'd have to try it out. And like, that's a whole big ordeal. So I wasn't about to make them do that because I've been there and that would suck. So then I randomly went to the JCPenney Sephora in Orland and I was like, let's just see if they have it. And they had the whole new update out. So I was so excited and they got the color light neutral. I tried it today. So far, so good. I'm gonna do a, what's it called? What's it called? A first impressions video on it and do like a whole review. If you want to see that, let me know. I'm probably gonna do it anyways, but um, this is it here. The light neutral shade and um, it has one of the droppers which I guess is like the new thing. Everyone is like doing the whole like dropper thing with the foundation. So, oh, and then it did come with like a little sample in the box, one of the uh, cleansing oils, which is kind of cool. The next thing that I picked up is the Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys know that the Better Than Sex Mascara is my favorite mascara ever. And they just came out with the Waterproof one and the packaging is so cute. It reminds me of the, like, what is it? I forgot what line that came out with MAC. But the line that came out um, has like water droplets on the packaging and this one does too. It looks just like that, which is just the cutest thing. So it looks like it's wet. So I'm so excited to try this out and uh, especially in the summertime when it's like super hot and humid out, this is really going to come in handy. I also picked up the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. It has an SPF 30 and I'm in the shade Finland. I got this because it was new and I've heard a couple of good things, but I've also heard some like negative things about it as well. And then I was talking to my friend Amanda who works at Sephora and she said that the NARS rep that came one day was like, oh, even though it says velvet matte, it doesn't describe the foundation. It's just the name of it. So like, I guess it's not supposed to be a matte finish. I don't understand. So um, I'll just try it out and see how it works. If you guys want a first impression review of this as well, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that video. Yeah, I'm interested because I like a lot of NARS products, but then there are also some NARS products that I just cannot stand. So we'll see what end of the spectrum this will be on. I also got this little sample. I didn't buy it. The lady that was working there gave it to me. It's the Do The Hula, and it's like a liquid bronzer. It's like their Hula bronzer that they have, but they made it in liquid form. So it's still a, so it's a liquid bronzer, but it's still matte, which is kind of cool. This is the little baby size. I think the bigger one is like, the full size is like, like this big or something. I don't know, we'll see. I'm really into the liquid bronzers lately. Oh, this was so exciting. I got the Melt Radioactive Stack. They're pressed pigments. They come just like this and they're like magnetic. So when you take this off, ooh, there's a mirror. The color is there and they all just kind of click together like this. So these are the neon ones that are like super bright and colorful and I have just been in a neon mood. I just, I don't know what it is. I have so many different colorful makeup tutorials. So I feel like this coming month is just gonna be full of bright and colorful makeup looks. So get ready and I apologize. There probably won't be very many natural ones coming up, but there will be eventually. So the first color is Radon. It's like a bright orangey red. And then the next one is Neon. It's like a really, really bright yellow. This green one is called Xenon. Do you guys remember that show, Xenon? Girl of the 21st century or something like that? Such a good movie. And then Radioactive, which is like a super, super hot pinky. I feel like these are not coming up as bright as they are in person. Like it looks more purple in the viewfinder and then in person it looks like hot, hot ass pink. So I'm so excited about these. I cannot wait to create those makeup looks. I have them all like written down and sketched out exactly how I want them to look. So I'm so excited that this came in the mail. And this came in in like two days, super quick. Oh, another NARS thing. I got the uh, Lodi Satin Lip Pencil. I used to wear this when I worked at Sephora. It's like a bright coral lip color and I love the NARS lip pencils. They're really, really nice. So this is like a bright corally peach color. And then when you put it on, like, especially if you have a darker skin, 
especially if you have a darker skin tone and you're a little bit more on the tan side oh my gosh this looks so good on people that have like a really really nice tan love this color this is kind of like an impulse buy when i was there this was really random but i have a tutorial planned out for this and um i was i was looking for a color just like this and then i saw it and i was like that is perfect this is the metallic shadow cream and powder I guess that's what it's called it's from uh the estee edit which is a new brand at sephora and it's from estee lauder it's like estee lauder like made it or whatever but it looks a lot like exactly like the ideal duos from dose of colors where it's like a tub like this and the primer is up on the top underneath is the pigment but it comes out like a beautiful beautiful green color so stay tuned for a tutorial with this because this was kind of random, like I wasn't expecting to get it, but I wanted to try something from this line because it's a brand new line that I've never heard of before and it was brand new, so yeah. I got three of these. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. My friend Miss Tiffany K here on YouTube was telling me that like I need to have these and they're pretty cheap. I think they're like a pack of three was 30 bucks where like Velour Lashes, it's one for $30 but they're really cool they're like really dramatic I used them in the like naked palette tutorial that I did so these are pretty nice I like them so far and um I have two more packs they're kind of like everywhere right now I also picked up these I've used one already <laughs> so embarrassing I got these like face razors because I get a mustache like hardcore and um, I also get like some whiskers here which I don't mind plucking but these are just like, it's like blonde peach fuzz that when I put my makeup on, it just like gravitates towards and nobody else can see it. Whenever I talk about it, people are like, what are you talking about? I don't see anything, but I can see it and it drives me nuts. So these are supposed to like basically shave your face without, it's not like shaving your legs. It's not like using a razor like that. It's supposed to like I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but I tried it already and it worked really nice. The only thing was, it's like two days after I did it, it felt like a little rough, you know, like a little prickly. But after that, it got like really smooth and I can feel the peach fuzz now, but it's really short and you can't, like the makeup isn't gravitating towards it. So I really like it. You can even use it like on your eyebrows, which I did. I got like all of the like little blonde fuzzy hairs here, which can kind of mess up your eyeshadow. If you ever notice, like if you're doing your eyeshadow and it's like, like not blending out really well mm -hmm. a lot of times it's because it's gravitating and grabbing onto like little invisible hairs that you can't see and it's like not wanting to blend out so if you get rid of those it's going on like soft baby smooth skin so these are awesome oh and i got these at sally's for like a dollar or two i'm guessing maybe three dollars i don't remember and then lastly i have quite a few things that are left in this bag that are a mystery because coming up soon i am going to well you'll see just stay tuned if you want to see what else is in this bag in the next week or two ish i have a surprise so stay tuned for that if you want to see what's in the bag so yeah that was everything that i purchased over the last couple of weeks it was yeah definitely over the last couple of weeks like this is not just like one trip to sephora <laughs> this is quite a few trips but i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and these kinds of videos i love haul videos and i love review videos because then you get to see like what people are into and what they're trying out and stuff like that as opposed to just like your basic tutorial all the time so however i am gonna be doing like hella tutorials with the melt stack i'm just like neon crazy right now so yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul let me know if you've tried any of these out and also let me know like if you want more in-depth reviews first impressions stuff like that like for instance i really want to do a first impression review on the tarte foundation so if there's anything else that you want to see like more in depth please let me know down below uh thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time bye bye